Perik Yud, Pesach Aleph. Previous Pesach had said that after Moshe and Aaron had gone into the Ol Moed with the communion tent, the Shechina had entered into the Mishkan, and when the people saw this, they praised Hashem and they prostrated themselves. The Yichu B'nei Aaron Nod Vaviu, the sons of Aaron, Nod V'naviu, Ishmach Toso, each of them took their fire pan, Vayitnu B'hen Eish, Vayisimu Ale Ktoris, and they put fire on the fire pan, and they put Ktoris, the incense, which is what you put on the golden Mizbeach, and they brought before Hashem an alien fire, which God did not command them to do. They did something which was inappropriate. So over here, there's an important Sifarno. Choshvu. Shekmo shecha tomid. Ashe bo tishre shechina komro. The first communal offering. As it says, O last tom do resech peschol moed lefnei Hashem. Ashe vod lechem shoma. Just as they had brought, Aaron had brought the tomid. And that was the cause of the Shechina to enter into the midst of the Klal Yisrael. Tovo ak Tores. Kacho Yeroi lahaktik Tores chadosho ato. It's appropriate to bring the new incense. Ali golas kvod Hashem al om al ridus ha'esh. Lochein hikrivu lefnei Hashem mizmach ha'pnimi. So the Sephora is explaining they took this incense and they sacrificed it on the inner altar, which is the normal location where you do burn the incense. Shenem abo lo sal olav k'tores zoro. But unless it's a k'tores, which is an obligation, bring the k'tores, you're not permitted to bring a k'tores there. Gam ha'yuroi lasus kach im ha'yubutsuvim boze. He says, in addition, if they were told to do it, it would be appropriate. Chotu lasoso ato. Meaning it was not the time to bring the Ktoris. Although it is the location for the Ktoris, but because they chose to bring it at this moment, which wasn't the appropriate time, therefore they did the wrong thing. So over here, Ashlo Tsiva Osam, Kaomar Be'ervin, Shura Allah Bafne Moshe Abon. They had ruled, they had given a halachic ruling in the presence of Moshe without consulting with Moshe. Okay? Now in this particular posuk, they refer to Vayichu B'nei Aaron Nod Vaviu. The B'nei Aaron who are Nod Vaviu. I mean, what did you have to be referred to? Identify as B'nei Aaron. We're speaking about Aaron and his four sons were anointed and they were installed as Kohanim on the eighth day. That's it. B'nei Aaron Nod Vaviu. The B'nei Aaron who are Nod Vaviu, they should say Vayichu Nod Vaviu. Why do they have to be referred to as B'nai Aaron? You would say, maybe, that although they have this prestigious pedigree, maybe somehow they would get a certain dispensation. Because what, what was the consequence of the behavior? They were struck down and they died. So you would say, because they are B'nai Aaron, maybe they should deserve a certain dispensation. They shouldn't die. The Torah saying, even though they're B'nai Aaron, nevertheless, they were struck down. Or, the Torah saying, that although they're qualified to officiate because they are B'nai Aaron, but because they did the wrong thing, they were struck down. We'll see in a moment. After they, they, were, they died because they did the wrong thing, Moshe Rabbeinu says to Aaron, Bekrovi Kodesh. Initially, initially, 
before you were installed as Kwan, I was told that on the day that the Shekhinah enters into the Mishkan, I will be sanctified with those who are closest to me. And we'll see, Rashi cites the Chazal, and Moshe said to Aaron, initially I thought it would be sanctified, either you or me would be killed. But now that I see that Nodav and Aviu are even closer than we are. Which we explained in the name of Rameir Simcha. That the Gemara tells us, Ko'omer Anybody who says that God overlooks a shortcoming, meaning not everything is taken into account when God gives a verdict on one's record, his life should be compromised. Now, this example, to display this fact, that as perfect as you are, if you have a level of perfection, if you deserve to be, to die, you will die. If you have multiple sins, you could say the reason why the person was compromised, because he has a negative record with multiple infractions on their record. But none of you, this was their only sin. This was their only sin, that they had brought the Ezorah, that they had sacrificed this incense offering without consulting Moshe. So you would say, if they're so pure and they're so perfect, God should have somehow overlooked it and given them a dispensation. As perfect as you are, regardless of your pedigree, whoever you are, there's no dispensation. As a result of that, so this displayed Bekrovea Kodesh, only through those who are closest to me is this fact communicated that nobody's above the law. Nobody, regardless of your pedigree, regardless of your status, regardless of who you are, if you're meant to be reined in, you'll be reined in. And this is brought out more clearly through another view than through anyone else. So I know what's going through Alan's mind, the question. Evidently, they already had the sin from Sinai because they looked at the Shechina, because they gazed directly at the presence of the Shechina. This is not their only sin. They had a previous sin. That was delayed until now, and only now they're being struck down. So we asked, they should have been struck down regardless. Because then people wouldn't have understood. You couldn't put two and two together. We have to associate the reason why they're dying is due to their failing. But seemingly this is a different failing. It's a different failing. This is a failing, as it says, they brought this alien fire. Because it's alien because they didn't consult Bosh Rabbeinu. Even if they did the right thing, but unless it's authorized through Moshe Rabbeinu, who's the source of all Torah, you did the wrong thing. So this is not their only sin. They had another sin before. So I think it's the exact same thing. If they would have realized, just as they gazed at the Shekhinah, which had to do with their level of, they felt they were worthy, they could even look at the Shekhinah, which no one is worthy. We find by Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was in the desert in Bijan, shepherding the sheep, the flocks of his father-in-law, he saw the burning bush, and he approaches the bush, because something is, is something which is peculiar. The bush is burning, and the bush is not being consumed by the fire. And as he approaches the, the bush, a malach Hashem speaks to him. An angel speaks to him, and says to him, Shal na'alech mi'araglecho, remove your shoes for your feet, he, the, the earth where you're standing is hallowed ground. You're not permitted. To remove your shoes. What does it say over there? Vayaster Moshe Ponov. When he heard that the Shechina is there, he immediately turned his face away. Meaning he's not worthy to look at the Shechina. And he turned his face away. And the Gemara we learned in Baruch says that because he turned his face away, acknowledging that he's not worthy. Therefore, later when he asked to see the presence of Hashem, Hashem allowed him to see his presence. Because he felt he was unworthy, that's why he had that level of worthiness. The sons of Aaron, they felt they were worthy. The way they felt about themselves. As a result of that, they gazed at the Shechina, which was inappropriate. As a result of that, they're doing the same thing over here. 
they felt they were in a position, they could, it is the right thing to do, they do it anyway. But how do you not console Moshe? It's emanating from the same failing. It's a lack of humility. At their level, that was a lack of humility. And because there was this lack of humility, that's the reason why they were compromised and their lives were taken. So really, it's an outgrowth of what originally happened at Sinai. Because at Sinai themselves, so therefore, it's really a clear statement on Hashem's part. It's, it's really the same sin. And because it is that same sin, therefore they're compromised. And because that was their only failing, as a result of that, it would display to a greater degree, Bekrove HaKodesh, God sanct themselves with those who are closest to him to show what God's justice is, that there's no compromising, but if a person is culpable, he will be taken because Hashem's justice is perfect.